Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my twists. They were supposed to be mini twists, but this is what it came out as. I wouldn't say these are chunky. These are medium size. When I first took these out in the beginning of the video, they were chunky because I just washed my hair. I just wanted it to air dry. So I do them in like very chunky twists. But once it's air dry and I go in with all the products I'm gonna show you guys, um, that's when I make it a little bit smaller, either medium or mini. It's just depending on how I'm feeling that day or what I have going on for the week. But I absolutely love, love, love twists. I've been doing twists since I was TWA. I do have another signature style I used to rock all the time. Just in case you guys are TWA, if you are interested in styling your hair in twists, you still want your hair to be out. Being that I didn't wear wigs or anything, I always had my hair like showing, but it wasn't out as in the air is catching it and it's getting nappy out. You feel me? I'll go ahead and leave that down below in the description box. But yeah, since my hair has grown super fast, super thick, I've been doing mini twists and I style it in many different ways. It also helps me not have my hands in my hair, which I do all the time when it's out. It also helps preserve my hair and the moisture while I am working out. You guys know I work out on a regular. So the salts in my sweat, tends to keep my hair very very dry um, but keeping it in mini twists definitely helps it once they moisturize and it's easy to get to my scalp is easy to moisturize my hair just take it out and you know refresh it throughout the week when it's not braided and weave i want to say it's in twists about like 95 percent of the time it's just very convenient it's super healthy for my hair. So at the end of the video, I am gonna show you guys some styles that I normally do with my hair. You guys see it all the time, but just some quick styles. This is one of them and I'll show you some others. Let me know if you guys are loving mini twists. Let me know if you guys use them throughout your natural hair journey. Let me know what you guys normally use for protective for protective hairstyles. If you want some more protective hairstyle videos, go ahead and let me know down below or like this video, comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at imported underscore chocolate. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right guys, so these are the chunky twists I was talking about. Um, I only keep them like this when I just finished washing my hair. It's been, I get, I think three days since I've washed my hair, so it's time to style it. Like in basically all my videos, I don't really care about the parting, especially in the back because I know how it's going to stay and it's really not going to be showing like that. So I do part with my fingers and I just leave it as that. The only part I really concentrate on when it comes to parting is just down the middle because you guys know I love my two puffs. So yeah, but in this time around, I already know I'm not gonna really be doing my two puffs so I don't care about the middle parting like that. So I've been loving this Camille Rose um, Lavender Whipped Cream Leave-In and this is always my main product that I use. It is super soft on my hair. As of late, I've been going in with grease. So I'm using coconut oil, Blue Magic. My hair loves, loves, loves coconut oil. So yeah, all I basically do is detangle with the whip leave-in and um, I smather like a good, <laughs> a good amount of coconut oil grease on my hair. So when it comes to the twist, I do start off with braids at the roots because on my nape area, it is very, very loose, softer pattern. I wanna say it's a tight B back there. So when I am going on my day-to-day -day life things and um, working out and stuff like that, my twists do end up unraveling very, very quickly and tangling, so I always braid first. Just, I wanna say a good three or four times and then I go into twists. That way it doesn't unravel throughout the week so easily. Literally, I've only used three products in this video. I've learned to become a minimalist when it comes to hair products. 
I am so grateful I'm able to try out a bunch of new companies because of what I do. I get sent a lot of free hair care products. So being able to just see which one works for me and which one doesn't has definitely helped. I definitely advise you guys just to keep on trying to figure out what works for you. If it doesn't work, just return it and try something else. But I realized a good moisturizing leave-in conditioner and grease and oil does my hair very, very well. And I am so excited of the growth, of the health, just with those three products. So basically, I'm just repeating the same pattern. Um, when it comes to the middle of my hair, that's when I don't do the braids anymore, only because it's just not necessary. I just start off with twists. Make sure you are twisting all the way down to the tip and I do roll the ends. All right, y'all, this took me a while. <laughs> That's why I did the rest off of camera. I am back. I don't know about you guys, but I prefer detangling with a comb. Some people just like finger detangling. My hair cannot do that because it just naps up and it entangles within each other so quickly and just so like it just doesn't want to leave each other alone it just loves each other so much so i do have to go in with a comb i truly believe in finding the right comb for your hair i've used other combs before and it's really just ripped out my hair this comb it's been broken for i don't know how long now but i cannot let this comb go because this is the only comb that um, actually separates my hair without breaking it and I think it was a rat tail comb before so I wanted to show you guys my pattern with just the leave-in conditioner and the blue magic coconut oil grease I know some people's hair don't love coconut oil my entire body loves coconut oil my hair my nails my skin loves it so I do keep coconut oil on deck y'all I am down to my last twist super excited because this took a minute and I had Ikea coming in with furniture as well um, installing some stuff so I definitely was not just sitting around just twisting my hair boom i am done so this is the final look so moisturized i love how bouncy it is how the sheen is natural like i told you guys my hair loves coconut oil and i drench it in coconut oil so i did go in with the virgin coconut oil and i just applied that to my hair and my scalp all right, so this is the first style I'm going to show you guys. Y'all already know, cause I be on camera and in pictures with these puffs. I cannot get enough of them. They stay out of my face. And when I am working out, my ends are not necessarily, you know, in the air dry, it's tucked in, it stays moisturized. And it's really cute on me. So I really love this style. Um, also, that little, mm, you know, thing in the back it was actually an accident then i was like you know what this is real cute let me just go ahead and leave it but honestly you could just put it back up in one of the puffs and tuck it in y'all see how i said i really don't care about that line in the back <laughs> i really don't <laughs> The next hairstyle I'm gonna show you guys. So this is normally what I have under my hair wraps. You guys know I love wrapping my hair. I think it's honestly one of the sexiest things. Sexiest hairstyle, I guess, hairstyle, hair accessories. I don't know. I love, love, love my hair wraps. I just do a regular, schmegular, low, loose ponytail and then I go in with my hair wrap or I just leave it like that if it's freshly done. And if I decide to go out, wanna look cute, then I put it up in a ponytail or the two puffs. 
so this is the next hairstyle i just told you about it is going to be a high pony i love me a good high pony when it's freshly done when everything is moisturized and it's loose and it's not hard or stiff i can only do this the first day because everything's moisturized but you could take out the two uh, what is this like bangs I guess two strands in the front but when I go work out those two definitely get tuck into the high ponytail and this is how I did my intro but yes thank you guys so much for watching this video these are a couple of hairstyles that I normally do on a regular it's very low hassle bye